Hello everyone, I am Ambarish. In this video, we will look at some of the text functions in Microsoft Excel. I have been given first names in column A and uh, last names in column B. I would like to combine the first name and last name and get the answer in column C. Okay, so I begin with equal to C O N. I don't need to type the complete spelling of the formula. I can just initialize with the first two or three characters and then use my down arrow a few times. Once I notice that my required formula is highlighted in blue, I can simply hit tab. Okay, it asks for text one. Here's my text one. It asks for a comma. I will provide the comma. It says text two. Okay, here's my text two and that's it. I don't have to close the parenthesis enter now I come back to that cell and I notice that there is no space between the first name and the last name no problem I can hit F2 to get into the editing mode after the comma I can put up double quotation mark uh, space and uh, again double quotation mark remember the red speech in uh, in grammar okay and of course comma uh, please note that the space is a special character and has hence has to be put up within the double quotation marks okay that's it I hit enter that's my answer of course let's come back to that cell and uh, apply a double click and uh, I'm done so I can use the concatenate formula to join two or more cells of course this can be done using the ampersand as well okay let's take a look at some more formulas uh, equal to len tab uh, let's take a2 as an example enter there you go it says seven there are seven characters in the cell a2 remember if there is a space somewhere within a2 even that will be counted space is also a special character okay double click this was the len formula to count the number of characters in a given cell okay let's go to the next one equal to upper tab notice that I am not typing the complete spelling it's just up tab and uh, yep let's take the a2 again Please notice that the cell A2 contains Amitabh with a lowercase a to start off with and then M is uppercase. But in the E2 cell, because we've applied the equal to upper formula, all characters in the cell A2 are appearing in capital. Let's come back to that cell and uh, double click. There you go. On similar lines, I can also apply the equal to lower formula. So equal to L O W and then tab. Uh, it asks for text. Let's take A2 again. Enter. Let's come back to that cell and uh, double click. Notice all characters in uh, the selected cells are now appearing in lower case. Similarly, Let's also look at another formula equal to proper tab. Let's take A2 again, enter. Notice that A of the cell A2 was lowercase, but in the output, it has, it has appeared in uppercase. The initial character of each text is going to be in capital. Okay, so this was uh, upper. This was uh, lower. This was proper. Let's also look at uh, a formula which will extract some characters depending on the user's requirement. As an example, I would like to extract three characters, first three characters from all the names given to us in the A column. Okay, so I can say equal to left. LEF tab now this formula 
contains uh, two different parameters equal to concatenate also had multiple parameters but they all were saying text 1 comma text 2 comma text 3 but here the parameters are different first up it asks for text okay so here's my text a2 again comma it says number of characters required uh, I want to extract three characters first three characters hence I can say three now this doesn't have to be within double quotes because it's a number it's a whole number integer okay and uh, please notice that there is a square bracket for uh, the num underscore cares parameter it means that parameter is optional if you do not supply anything like the way we have done three it will by default take one so it will simply extract the first character from each name but yeah since we want uh, three let's go with three enter and uh, it extracts just the first three okay double click okay so this was left and then on uh, similar lines i can also use uh, right so let's take an example i would like to extract two characters from the end portion of the the, the value so a2 and in place of number of characters i'll say two and that's it enter and there you go from each name you will have just the last two characters that was right uh, like the way we have left and uh, right we also have another formula called mid which will help extract certain number of characters from within the name so when the requirement is neither from beginning nor from end you will use the mid formula equal to mid now this formula has three parameters it says text okay so here's my text a2 comma starting number now I would like to let's take an example insert uh, extract uh, m i t from um, the name Amitabh because m is at second position in the name Amitabh I'll say 2 comma it says number of characters I would like to extract let's say m i t so that means 3 so I'll say 3 that's it enter it does its job double click and then uh, for the rest of the guys it will again start looking from the second and extract three characters including the second okay sometimes you will have a requirement that you will have to uh, count the number of uh, appearances of a particular text and for that you can use the count if formula but that we can see in some other uh, video because this video was meant for some of the text functions thank you so much for watching the video please uh, subscribe to my channel have a great one